टुडे वी आर कवरिंग जूनिपर जे एन जीरो टू थ्री वन सिक्योरिटी एसोसिएट जे एन सी आई ए एस सी सी टू फाइंड द कम्प्लीट लिस्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर प्लीज गो टू द प्ले लिस्ट लिंक प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ दीज इज प्रायोरिटाइज फर्स्ट ऑप्शन ए जोन बेस्ड सिक्योरिटी पॉलिसी ऑप्शन बी ग्लोबल सिक्योरिटी पॉलिसी ऑप्शन सी डिफॉल्ट सिक्योरिटी पॉलिसी करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ दीज इज ट्रू अबाउट सिक्योरिटी पॉलिसीज ऑप्शन ए security policies enforce a set of rules on transit traffic option b security policies enforce a set of rules on exception traffic correct answer is option a next question is which of these can be used to detect applications running on non standard ports option a sky atp option b content filtering option c application firewall option d idp correct answer is option d next question is which command can be used to display the shadowing and shadowed policies in a policy list option a so security shadow option b so security shadow policies option c so security policies option d so security shadow policies correct answer is option b next question is a combination of which of these objects is referred to as a context option a ingress interface and egress interface option b inbound route and outbound route option c from zone to zone from zone and to zone correct answer is option c next question is which of these about is true which of these is true about the reject action of a security policy choose two options option a for udp traffic the reject action silently drops the packet option b for tcp traffic the reject action silently drops the packet option c for tcp and udp traffic the reject action sends an icmp destination unreachable port unreachable message option d for udp traffic the reject action sends an icmp destination unreachable port unreachable message option e for tcp traffic the reject action drops the packet and sends a tcp reset rst segment to the source host correct answer is option d and option e next question is why would you use the shadow policies workspace in jwave option a to identify the least used security policies due to policy overlap option b to identify the most used security policies due to policy overlap option c to identify unused idp policies due to policy overlap option d to identify unused security policies due to policy overlap correct answer is option d next question is which of these about global security policies is 
True. Choose two options. Option A. Global policies must reference the source and destination zones. Option B. Global policies must include a dynamic policy applications. Option C. Global policies can reference the destination zone. Option D. Global policies can reference the source zone. Correct answer is option C and option D. Next question is which of these can be used to define a source or destination IP address assigned to a workstation? Option A. Address book entry. Option B. Subnet mask. Option C. Security policy. Correct answer is option A, 